Hi, my name is Robert Hogan, and today I'm going to show you how I made a Greek Xiphus and scabbard. I marked out the shape of the sword on quarter inch flat stock aluminum. Now I'm using a bandsaw to roughly cut the sword out. You could also use a jigsaw. Then I used a grinder and various metal files to shape the sword. I then used a grinder to bevel the edge of the blade. You could also use a file here, but I used a grinder to speed up the process. Here I'm using a plasma cutter to roughly cut out what will soon become the handles. Again, I'm using the grinder and files, but this time to shape the handles. Now I marked and drilled holes for brass studs that'll hold the handles together. I clamped the handle to the sword and then I drilled halfway through the handles. Then I mixed up two part metal epoxy and applied it to both handles and blade. I lined up both handles and blade and clamped them and let it dry overnight. Now I'm using a grinder to grind the handle into shape. Again, you could also use files. Here I'm sanding the blade smooth. First I used 400 grit to sand out the scratches. I then used 2000 grit wet sandpaper for the final sanding. Now I'm using aluminum polish to polish the blade to a shine. Here's the sword finished. Now for the scabbard. I marked and cut out all the pieces needed to make the scabbard. I used quarter inch press board to do this. Then I used wood glue to glue all the pieces into place. I clamped the two halves together, then let it set overnight to dry. I then used sandpaper to sand all the edges smooth. Once that was done, I sanded the edges round.
Now I'm putting metal caps I made on both ends of the scabbard. Here's the finished product. 